Hello, my name is Kaelin Garrett, and this is our work on Pedidol Stream, a planning framework for incorporating samplers for producing continuous values with symbolic planners. This is joint work with Tomas Susana Perez and Leslie Cabling. Application for this work is robotic task and motion planning. This is planning for a robot to achieve a task such as stacking a tower of blocks or cooking a meal, and requires planning not only the high level sequence of actions to consider, but also the low level motions that make it feasible. And this typically is viewed as a surge in a high dimensional and hybrid space, where there are variables that are both continuous and discrete, such as robot configurations and object poses, and relationships like is something on something else, is something in the hand, is something cooked. And we hope to be able to plan for problems with a variety of different actions. Here's an example of a robot solving a real world task and motion planning problem. Here, the goal is to prepare a meal for a human. This requires serving both a cup full of water and also cooking the green block, which we can think of as broccoli in this example, and serving it to the human. Critically, the robot has to identify not only the operations it needs to achieve, such as cooking the block, but also select the placements of these objects on the tray such that they are safe and collision free. The challenge in task and motion planning is that the planner must choose the values of continuous parameters for different actions. And these parameters also must satisfy various constraints. For example, in the previous video, there are kinematic constraints that the robot is actually grasping each object it's manipulating, as well as collision constraints to ensure that the object placements of the uh, block and cup do not collide, nor does the robot collide with the table. Several lines of work related to task and motion planning stemming from both the AI and robotic planning community. However, each of them typically has at least one of the following drawbacks. They either assume a finite action space, so the set of placements and robot configuration was, would have to be given a priori. They either are very application specific and lack a generic problem representation, and thus are difficult to transfer to new domains, or they resort to brute force state space search. In our work, our first contribution is to fix some of these issues by proposing a general purpose framework for trying to model TAMP domains with infinitely many actions. In this work, we present Pedal Stream, a planning framework that can meet these limitations. It extends planning domain definition language, PDDL, allowing it to be both modular and domain agnostic. We introduce the notion of streams, which encode sampling procedures, allowing us to plan in domains with infinitely many actions. Finally, we demonstrate that there are generic algorithms that can operate on this problem representation that treat these samplers as black boxes. So a user only needs to specify the problem description and samplers, and the planners can do the rest. Begin by describing the pedal stream language. Following to the pick and place domain as a motivating example, here, the goal is for block A to be within the red region, and block B starts in a location that initially actually obstructs all safe places. The state of the robot and the blocks are both continuous XY pairs. Here is one of the infinitely many solutions to this problem, due to the fact that A and B have infinitely many placements that can satisfy this rough skeleton. The solution involves picking B, moving out of the way, and then picking A and placing it within the red region. We can specify the initial state and goal conditions of this problem in the same manner as typically done in PDL. The only difference is that the arguments to predicates are now potentially continuous values, such as NumPy arrays. As we can describe move and pick actions in the same manner as done normally in PDDL, the only difference is that some of the parameters may be high dimensional continuous values, such as poses or configurations. Oftentimes, these parameters must also satisfy constraints in the form of static preconditions, such as the kinematic constraint kin for the pick action. Supposing then Oracle gives us these values and also certifies that they satisfy these static constraints, and the problem reduces to a finite state space search that can be solved with any off the shelf classical planner. However, again, the challenge in task and motion planning is that no one gives us these values. And even if we have these values, we don't know if they satisfy these constraints. All we have is the initial state, which contains initial configuration of the robot and two initial placements of the objects, and possibly two grasps for the objects. Thus, the planner needs to find one placement of object A within the red region a collision-free placement of B with respect to the chosen placement of A, four configurations for grasping A and B and placing them and picking them, and four robot trajectories that move between each pick and place. To produce these values, we introduce streams, which can be used to model samplers. Streams are functions from a set of input values to a sequence of output values. Streams are implemented using a program such as Python. The advantages of streams are that the outputs of one stream can serve as inputs to another, and that streams can generate a possibly infinite sequence of values. It's useful for planning. We provide a declarative specification of different properties that the inputs and outputs of streams satisfy using the language of predicates. We use domain facts to describe constraints on legal inputs. 
and also provide certified facts, facts that all pairs of inputs and outputs are guaranteed to satisfy to describe properties of generated values. So we can use streams to define procedures that sample the staple placements within a region. The sample region stream takes in a block in a region and outputs poses for the block that are guaranteed to be contained within the region. And a simple implementation of this uh, stream uh, in Python for this 2D example is shown here on the right, where it takes in these inputs and just yields a infinite generator of different placement values. Similarly, we can specify a stream that performs inverse kinematics, that given a placement of a block and a particular grasp for the block, samples a sequence of robot configurations that satisfy a kinematic relationship attaching to the block. Padilla stream problems are composed of the following components, a domain file that declares actions, a stream file which declares the inputs, outputs, and certified facts of streams, and a problem Python file that specifies the initial state, goal formula, and as well as provides the implementation for the stream Python generators. We present several Padilla stream algorithms that operate on this problem description alone. Although a user specifies which streams are available, Padilla stream planners describe which streams to actually apply and which inputs to provide to them, and then how to connect them ultimately with actions. We present several algorithms that alternate between searching and sampling phases. Each algorithm is going to roughly do the following. Search a finite PDL problem for a plan, and then modify this problem using the streams depending on the results of that plan. As a result, all of these problems can implement the search in the finite PDL problem using any off-the-shelf classical planner part of Piddle stream planning was intelligently identifying which streams are useful for the given problem. This is because many streams are computationally expensive to evaluate due to things like collision checking. In our advanced algorithms, we do this by first planning with optimistic hypothetical outputs of streams before actually querying values of them. Namely, what we do is for each stream and tuple of inputs, we create a placeholder object that serves as a hypothetical output of that stream. This placeholder object can be an input to other streams as shown below. And then we plan using this set of objects before actually querying real values. The basis of our binding algorithm, which intuitively lazily plans using these optimistic output values before actually querying any streams to potentially produce real values. Namely, once we plan using these optimistic values, we can recover the streams that could actually produce bindings to these placeholders. This algorithm operates as follows. First, it constructs these optimistic objects. Then it, provide, it performs a search over the combined set of real objects and optimistic objects. If it finds a plan with only real objects, it returns the plan. Otherwise, it samples the streams um, that are associated with the objects on the plan and disables these streams to ensure that on the next iteration, we produce a different plan. This algorithm, however, has challenges tackling problems that are very tightly constrained. For example, the problem below, where the goal is for the robot to pack these five blue objects into this tiny green region where there aren't many placements collectively that are collision-free among the blocks. What will happen is that here, the optimistic plan initially might be feasible, but require a substantial amount of rejection sampling to find a collection of placements that is collision-free. Thus, the binding algorithm require many iterations of revisiting the same plan before actually finding a collective solution. The problem motivated the development of our final Padilla stream algorithm, the adaptive algorithm, which balances the computation time spent searching and sampling in order to ensure that sampling has the same amount of effort applied as searching. This is able to actually also adapt online to the inherent overhead of each phase of the algorithm. Finally, we can run this algorithm in an anytime mode to locally optimize for low cost plans. Several experiments to compare the performance of our pedal stream algorithms. The first is this packing problem where the number of blue blocks is scaled between three and five, while the size of the green region remains constant. What we can find is that the adaptive algorithm has the best coverage. It solves the most of these randomly generated problems and additionally solves them most quickly in fewer than 10 seconds when there are five blocks. Finally, here are the takeaways of this talk. Although we've presented many examples of mobile manipulation, the stream can be applied to other domains, such as the rover's domain here, that's an extension of the classic rover's domain to incorporate visibility and collision constraints. The takeaways of this talk are first, introducing Padilla stream, an extension of PDVL that introduces the notion of streams, which can model sampling procedures. Algorithms for Padilla stream problems that optimistically plan using placeholder values in order to intelligently call only a small number of streams. And finally, an adaptive algorithm that's able to balance searching and sampling in order to get the best of both in ultimate performance. Thank you.